you know, we were talking about band conditions here, and we just got a message that came up from Tom Pat. Got my license last November, and this is my first summer of experiencing the bands. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I feel like band conditions have been harsh. Is this the norm, or is this because of the peak of the solar we're at? This well, no, because, if you're on 20 meters, that's just harsh. No, is this, this is because, of the, well, we got a couple of things going on here. This is the peak, and um, you take the peak for the good and the bad. And we've talked about this previous in, in, in previous live streams. But um, when it's, I mean, you you get you get great numbers like um, all of these all of these sunspots, the SFI up in uh, in in you know two three hundred, um, which really enhances propagation, but. Because of all of the solar activity, you get those flares, the CMEs, the um, solar winds that just totally at, at, at the same time just totally trash the bands. Yeah. And then you get you end up with another phenomenon that happens from about May until you know the end of August, early September, called the summer doldrums, where um because of the such, because the days are so long, uh, the you know the the ionosphere is just so supercharged. It just it it never <laughs> it never lets up, and um, yeah, the only band that really functions reliably is twenty meters. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so I mean, starting now through the next you know three four months, of, mm -hmm. you're going to see a lot more on forty. Uh, I think you'll see a lot more on the um, work band 17, 30, 12, yeah. um, and even 75, 80, and uh, 60 meters if you're into that. Uh, 60 meters is, will probably start to open up too here soon. So, yeah, um, yeah the in certain doldrums, the sun is up so long that the F layer, because, you know, the F layer during the day is two layers, and then at mm -hmm. night it kind of merges into one. While there's so little time for it to merge into one, to get that good solid high reflective point um that it really just never forms yeah so you don't get good dx on 75 and 60 in those lower bands um so you know take it as what it is but as someone just pointed the sun giveth the sun taketh away thanks 45. um yeah yep. <laughs> so, and that's like it, when you're at the top of the uh, the top of the cycle bottom of the cycle it doesn't matter Right. right, sun give it the sun take it away. Take it away. Yeah, yeah. So it's we now now that I I think we we we're, we'll look at this next probably in the next month again. We'll we'll look at where where this where our sunspot numbers are. But we're we're starting that trend downwards yeah. towards the um, the the march towards the solar minimum. It's going to take a few years, but we can enjoy it going down just like we enjoyed it coming up. Um, Sunspots will 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 be dim diminishing, which means solar activity will be diminishing. Uh, but we're still going to get a lot of great activity for the next two three years on on like 15, 15 meters, even ten meters. Um, Twenty meters will be a lot cleaner. So you'll get you'll you'll see um, that shaping up um, now that we're getting now that we're approaching fall and in, and consequently the winter the low band will start to clean up a little bit too um 40 meters will be a lot you know you'll get a lot more activity so it's um yeah it's um when you're at the top it's it's very good and it's absolutely terrible at the same time and then the slide up and the and, and the, the, the 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 climb up and the slide down you get you get more good and than bad depending uh, as, long so, as, have, so. as long as you don't have a bottom like we did a few years ago, that was mm -hmm. the worst. Yeah, going months without any sunspots. Oh, terrible. Yep, yep. Then it's then it's really yeah. Um, when we get down to the solar minimum in about five years, it's you'll be you'll be asking, well, yeah, where is where is everybody? <laughs> well, we'll be back on FDA like we were five, five, four years ago. Yeah, everybody will be crowded on. Yeah, everybody will be crowded on twenty and forty meters. Um, and um, yeah, it'll be like it'll that be for fine. several. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, our next live stream's coming up on Thursday, October second, and that's like pushing right up 
to the um, camp out. So we'll have to. Yeah. So are you going up Thursday night or what is your plan? I reserved Thursday. So at the very least, I could go, I could come in early on Friday morning. I don't, because the state parks now have a 3 p.m. setup time. Uh, they, they enforce okay. that. So I wanted, I wanted to be able to get in, get in early on, um, thir on Friday, but I don't know, I might go up Thursday, but then if I go up on Thursday, then it's going to be hard to do the live stream. So, right. Well, we'll figure it out. So we, we might do something. Yeah. So something, something might happen for October's live stream. Yeah. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.